Yeah. So here we have uh, Avik, Avik uh, Ganguly. Avik is the founder of Finnerfin, a fintech company building scalable enterprise solutions on top of fin Apache Finneract. Avik is a fintech specialist and open source evangelist who, keep, who picked up his trade while working with Mifos, Conflux, and NovaPay. Uh, you're going to present us from loan origination to loan collections from e-commerce to remittances, from savings to bill pay. There are a wide, range, a wide range of use cases and different types of field staff and agents at EFS Enable. The APIs in Finerac already power a broad variety of digital field applications, but there are many more use cases we could enable. So please, Avic. Thank you, Javier, for the introduction. Uh, so before we get into the field application features, uh, I'd like to tell a bit about Finarfin and um, the financial well-being aspects of uh, what we wanted to focus on, like simplifying uh, the daily standard of living for the underserved markets. And um, so as part of our, we started two years back and uh, first our focus was on building a channel uh, leveraging the open open banking movement, which was going on locally, with a lot of um, banks opening up their APIs for consumption, and um, focusing on financial resilience uh, as part of that channel to to deliver uh, to uh, or to the urban poor and uh, and to tier two and three towns in India. And uh, initially, we focused on the retail agents who had uh, like had to accept a lot of cash, and since there was a low penetration of point of sale device and um, ATMs, and that's where uh, we wanted to look at cash flow analysis and uh, give alternative financing modes through. Um, through tickets for SME lending anywhere between uh, like seven hundred dollars to around three thousand dollars, and uh, and uh, once the merchants build uh, credit history, slowly give uh, personalized line of credit to the customers who have been uh, uh, taking goods and purchasing goods from these merchants on credit and uh, tie all of these services together through the India stack, which is not only open banking, but like open APIs in general. Uh, so we'll cover some of these uh, in the next slides. So a lot of you Finaractors would be already uh, comfortable with the digital field application of MIFOS built on top of the Finaract APIs, which is built for uh, the field stuff of financial institutions to use. Uh, initially, it saw a lot of adoption from microfinances, but over the years, a lot of non-banking financial companies, which uh, is, which are called um, SACOs or like credit unions in other parts of the world, they started adopting the field of their app and customizing it as per their user experience. Uh, so the agent application we focus on uh, to deliver a bouquet of service uh, and provide access to the broader open fintech system to drive out cashless and paperless and presenceless um, services. And uh, as, as a follow-up part to that, we have been focusing on fleet operators who operate small networks of uh, agents uh, focused on a particular goal. Some of these fleet operators uh, already has a primary source of income, such as hyper local deliveries. Uh, and um, we wanted to streamline uh, such kind of fleet operations and provide a secondary or tertiary source of income 
which won't impact their primary sources of income. So the field officer application, uh, which MIFOS provides, supports all the functionalities around customer group and center, the traditional joint liability groups of how a group of micro loans are given out by a field officer at a center uh, and, uh, and strong uh, ethics around collections are established through uh, compulsory group training and group recognition training. Uh, supported through data tables, which uh, the field office field application has comprehensive support for, along with onboarding with tied KYC and uh, photos for capturing signatures, capturing progress out of poverty index surveys, uh, capturing location of the customer, or the agent, and such stuff, and also giving a bare bone uh, implementation for opening loan accounts and uh, configuring a product and opening a loan account in a very short turnaround time and uh, being able to collect through the collection sheet individual and group collection sheets and uh, assign tasks in terms of uh, through entity data table checks and other features which finrac provides which uh, forces when a status changes from and a customer or loan status changes from A to B, what are the fields which needs to be captured uh, and tasks are driven through that and uh, provide a basic set of reports for the field officer to assess uh, what's going on in the field. And uh, recently um, it has evolved into offline sync and access, which is a very good feature, which, um, which was very useful before um, geo came geo provides uh, low cost uh, data to even uh, tier 4 and tier 5 villages which has made offline sync in india completely unnecessary right so we took we mapped a lot of finrac apis um, to we did a reverse mapping where we thought of the API consumption from the mobile consumption side and um, built uh, wrappers on top of Finerac's uh, lending and savings deposit products and payment APIs to, um, to simplify for uh, certain uh, payment network operators and uh, also to provide standards for uh, other kind of API consumers, which we'll cover later. So it comes pre-integrated with the prepaid wallet. Acquiring a license to provide interest on wallet accounts is uh, very difficult in India, but uh, prepaid wallets have seen a lot of boom, uh, especially with a uh, lot of payment APIs being opened up by banks as part of the open movement. And uh, having the ability to Come having a bare minimal product integrated, a lot of small micro loans, um, which are um, just with a basic credit bureau check. That process has been commoditized thanks to Finrac. And um, as a sec phase to that, what, what we do on top of that task location, we enable smart scheduling we use uh, facebook's profit library to deliver that we um, allow a lot of monitoring through um, like elastic search and kibana dashboards and uh, we have kpis which are closely tied to the hyper local uh, business model as well as the footfall in the retail mode so that uh, productivity of each feet on street can be tracked and performance can be measured and transactions can be incentivized so that the volumes eventually come in. For the agent onboarding, uh, we um, have a similar app, which uh, is used for uh, like defining the targets 
uh, upgrading the agents like KYC so that different services can be delivered by the agent based on their stage in the training cycle. And uh, also prospect the quality of agents on which uh, complicated service can that agent deliver. So some of these services are part of the open banking or India stack, like um, the cash in cash out here is um, primarily to the wallet, to a closed loop wallet, but with AEPS uh, being Aadhaar enabled payments, which is uh, nothing but biometric enabled payments, which is small device linked to the phone, uh, you the banking ecosystem is opened up to um, customers who are far away from any kind of ATM networks. So irrespective of the bank, uh, you can do a cash deposit to, to fund uh, the agent wallet and using that balance, any of the other transactions can be driven like a merchant payment or a money transfer in the banking network. Um, or, or like a disbursement, right? Um, collection has evolved in a lot of ways, uh, which we'll cover. Uh, one of the ways uh, direct debit has seen a very, um, like the slowest evolution and has recently been uh, democratized. Uh, the physical mandate process in India has always been long, like it has traditionally been 15 to 20 days. And um, the modern open banking products have cut it down to a day to five days. Um, physical mandates also have been kind of digitized and there's a completely separate authentication process for digital mandates. And um, bill pay networks and cash management for partners allows us to diversify the bouquet to provide more traction. And uh, we are following the GSMA standards uh, to for remittance and international remittance so that any network operators or any point of sale integrators can integrate by following a well-defined set of APIs. These are our product partners. Bharat uh, Bill Pay is the open Bill Pay system where uh, all of that will, uh, it's regulated by uh, National Payments Corporation so that um, there's, there's compliance and audit even in bill payment process. And um, the biometric network is again maintained by NPCA and um, there's very rigorous uh, audit process for that for uh, since there are multiple agencies where the biometric data goes through and there are regulations on who can do that and who can't. Uh, so there's uh, authenticated user agencies who can do this biometric based payments. And um, eNatch is where um, you can collect money, it can be a recurring installment, it can be your subscriptions. So these things can be auto debited from bank account. Everyone has a bank account, even though cards are not um, that much uh, popular in entire three, four, five towns and villages, but everyone has a bank account. Most of them are dormant, but uh, the point is having a bank account uh, enables those customers to use such services through biometrics even in the remotest village. And um, we use Kotak Life's array of insurance products, micro life, micro health, uh, two wheeler insurances, which uh, were like, there's no paperwork involved. All of it is digital. And um, for micro investments where instead of depositing if a customer's uh, behavior on analysis, they have more risk taking capacity and um, they, uh, our agents are trained to take the customer through the advisor's um, forms and um, suggest 
which uh, mutual funds or SIP of our product partner is ideal for their appetite. And um, Hug the Shuk solves a very important problem in the Indian ecosystem. They provide benefits to the right people. Uh, each state and state government and national government has a lot of benefit schemes, but most of it is not um, transferred to the right beneficiary. So Hagdarshak um, helps in that. They have some identity solutions and they, pro they have the required knowledge transfer uh, to the agents so that um, these benefits can be delivered right at the doorstep of the customer. It can range from anywhere from a subsidy for a gas connection, LPG connection to like um, subsidized education for a single woman, uh, single female child of parents. And um, especially with uh, the pandemic and um, other downturn events, uh, job generation has been uh, uh, issue with um, so Virohan and Helper for You helps um, rural youth from the age of like 18 to 26 get into professions such as uh, medical uh, trainers, medical assistants, providers and uh, helpers and um, such kind of uh, jobs, find, helps them find such kind of jobs in uh, nearby towns and cities. So we provide um, transactional banking analysis uh, from, for, from a performance point of view. We have adopted uh, MIFOS Payment Hub over the past uh, six months. And um, we track the performance as well as the, the business metrics. So this is our fleet app where um, small set of network operators can uh, quickly onboard digitally and um, deliver doorstep banking within a community. And the fleet operator can monitor and uh, instruct um, the, like, the beat plans of such field officers. And um, they can see which uh, customer has requested which facility at their doorstep so that um, they can uh, either accept, reject, or prioritize and uh, schedule their um, beat plan. So this um, covers that aspect. Most of our uh, fleet, um, most of our agents are women entrepreneurs. So what we try to build is uh, financial resilience. So we let our customer promise to save something as part of a goal they set for themselves. And um, through notifications, uh, we nudge them every month through the agents, we encourage them to meet those goals, uh, either through a savings product in a traditional bank or through tailored investment advice for uh, systemic investment plans that fits their goals. And um, we cushion against their volatilities by uh, allowing like credit on tap. This is um, something uh, we are still working on. Uh, the, the, this requires a business correspondent model, which is uh, still being defined in India, which uh, says like how co-lending uh, structures evolve from the traditional on-lending structures. And um, through Kotak, we provide uh, insurances to cover life uncertainties. How we deliver these things uh, by, it's mostly by leveraging MIFOS uh, 
payment hub for the rails, which uh, is one will be telling us more about tomorrow in the real time payment stock. And um, we use Finneract for the account management and for the loans, uh, loan products. The apps we have uh, modified for the user experience we wanted for the Indian ecosystem. And um, we have in the rails also, we have diverged a bit to, to help define the rules which um, our compliance partners wished to see in the dashboards. So this is the minimal deployment structure, um, which uh, this would be part of the JITBOOK link, which is one shared. We are following this deployment model for, um, or we are using ZBay for orchestrating. And um, this entire uh, clustered, all the components inside Kubernetes since they allow clustering uh, failover and um, high availability scaling up later won't be an issue. And um, we are using a single engine right now. And for our direct debits and other open banking APIs, we have worked on a reconciliation reports. And uh, the Kafka cluster really ensures uh, that data integrity is there in the Elasticsearch. Previously, we were facing issues where um, this directly from we were using webhooks to sync the data into the ELK stack, webhooks and logstash. And um, there was a inconsistency in the data. Introducing Kafka has greatly reduced that inconsistency. The API standardization, uh, we have been working with uh, Shubham uh, during this Google Summer of Code to implement the GSMA mobile money standards so that um, they are not very roughly defined for each use case and the same APIs can, the different flavors of an API can be consumed by uh, slightly different roles in the ecosystem. So though the folks over at GSMA has put a lot of thought into how these APIs can be standardized and uh, how transactions, how, how do your transactions can be recovered where um, not only during timeouts, but for internal states, um, for internal inconsistent states later. So this covers some of those things. We, we are not using uh, any kind of USSD here, no. This is the part where we have, uh, in addition to the great work Shubham has done over the summer uh, for integrating with the GSMS specs, we have additionally adopted the GSMS specs as part of the channel connector to be able to accept the requests so that there's a consistency on the payer and payee side, no matter uh, which role we are playing in the ecosystem. Uh, I would, I don't want to go into details of these two, uh, since um, like these will be covered, I guess, tomorrow in much more details, but the, the partitioning and the completely embedded database for payments have been a great boon as um, the process state and the pod restartability in Kubernetes um, with like no database to maintain um, and state mismatches haven't been an issue tracking down state mismatches. And uh, right, even uh, for bottlenecks, uh, we have seen that it's much more fault tolerant. And uh, we have replicated in our load testing environment how the leader election has, leader election works by uh, mimicking situations where one node goes down. 
so that the operation continues un uninterrupted. Since uh, one critical part of this is like capability to handle um, cases across uh, multiple pods and across uh, multiple nodes, especially drilling down in the elastic search uh, through a proxy and uh, putting access control on top of the proxy to view um, to put to expose the kibana dashboards not only to central operations but also to supervisors and um, super agents so to speak who monitor the micro networks micro agent networks so how the leadership is handled over to a node in case of failure of one node um, maybe if one can Tell a bit more about that tomorrow. So as part of a fleet, uh, there are toll booths and such thing which have been digitized in the open banking parts. So for that, uh, we are implementing fast tag, which uh, takes only a couple of seconds to cross a toll booth instead of paying in cash. Enash has, hasn't really taken off yet, but there's a lot of prospect. Um, since uh, customers have been at the like for loan turnaround times have been uh, bottlenecked by the physical mandate registration which as i was saying it takes up to three weeks and there's an authentication process though where you have to authenticate using debit card or net banking for enatch which is still an issue for delivering it to the rural customers, which uh, which the open uh, banking ecosystem is evolving and would slowly try to address over time. And uh, closed loop cards, again, for expense management of the agents for, uh, for activities such as refilling fuel, we are uh, looking into that, as well as partnering with point of sale device to drive those things. And um, other than biometric based payments, we haven't looked into the EKYC part, which is again, other, um, there was a case a year back, which reduced the barrier to entry for providing identity based APIs. Previously, um, the authenticated user agency license used to be granted to a very special few. Now, authenticated user agencies, um, you need not get the license to offer a very basic form of EKYC. Only uh, and even offline KYC is right now, uh, you can do it via Aadhaar based APIs. So do you guys have any questions? Um, yeah, ZBay uh, follows the raft protocol for failover. Uh, we are not sure how it's internally implemented. No. Hello, Avik. Thank hey, you for your presentation. Yeah. It yeah. was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, a lot of work you have done there. Uh, and and you've been with me for some Finarak then for a long time now. You're one of the oldest yeah. contributors in the in the show. So thank you for, for the presentation.